Metal Tube Variable Area Flow Meter is available with an optional foundation field bus transmitter. Here's how to connect the meter to your foundation field bus network. The first step in wiring the transmitter is to remove the housing cover. It's a threaded cover and normally takes 10 to 12 turns to remove it. Now we're ready to take the terminal strip out so that we can do the wiring. There are two screws to remove. Simply turn this one to loosen it, then loosen the lower screw. Next, pull out the terminal strip and you now have easy access to the pins. To attach the wiring, loosen the screws for pins 11 and 13. Two pieces of wire will be attached to the terminal strip, what's called a twisted pair. The black wire will be inserted first into pin 13 and then the screw tightened. Next, the red wire will go into pin 11 and then that screw gets tightened. Note that the transmitter is insensitive to reverse polarity and will work even when the positive foundation field bus and negative foundation field bus wires are connected in reverse order. Now, once the flow meter is installed, it's not uncommon for magnetics to be in the area. So to get into a zero position, we connect these two pieces of wire to ground the wiring we just installed. We'll put these wires in pins eight and nine. So we have two power wires and the zero wires. Now the terminal strip is ready to be installed back into the flow meter. In order to do that, the wire has to go through the conduit connection like this. Then line up the strip and snap it into place and retighten the two screws. Now that the wiring is complete, it's time to put the housing cover back onto the meter. Remember, it will take 10 to 12 turns to get it back on. MT3809 with the Foundation Field Bus Transmitter is registered with the Field Bus Foundation. Access the device description files on our website to set up a connection from your control system to MT3809. MT3809 provides reliable flow measurement of fluids at high pressures, high temperatures, and hazardous or remote areas, and for corrosive fluids.